Hey guys, today we are going to see how to install and set up your image server as your Google Photos alternator. So, what you are going to do is open Google and then go ahead to the image website and there you see you have something called the demo portal where you can go in and check if image is a thing that you can use as an alternative. You just go ahead and log in as demo user. So now you can see all the features they look similar to Google Photos. So it has your setup, it has your timeline, everything you need exactly same like Google Photos and so look at that you even have the geolocation maps. You can explore all the features over there because this is like hosted on a demo server so you get to experience all the features before you have it in installed and set up for your own uh, alternative self-hosted image server you know so now let's get straight to it and start installing open your command prompt and go ahead and so before you begin I'm gonna give you all of these uh, command line prompts so that put it into a document so that you can just copy and paste them from the YouTube description so it's easier for you guys that way to just install it straight away you know and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do end up doing a successful installation okay leave me comments if you have any doubts now go ahead and start pasting the first command which is like the make directory command which would create the image directory for you and then you can go ahead and change to the image directory so that you can download the files that are required for the image to be installed for the image server to be installed yeah so there are two files that we're going to use one is the docker compose yml file and the next one is the env file so go ahead and copy those two get commands so that you download those files to the image directory that you just made yeah so there are two optional files that you can use to get hardware accelerated on the server but i would just not recommend it for the time being so that it's for me it just works fine without the hardware acceleration so once you go into hardware acceleration and everything you're just going to complicate things over there yeah so get docker compose yml file get the dot env file and you're good to go to install image server yeah now go to your directory the one that you created you'll see the docker file and the env file the env is a hidden file so you probably need to enable show hidden files so the docker compose has all the image server details and your upload location and all those things for me currently the port number is set to 2283 so that should do for the whole setup being set up so if it is something else on your computer go ahead and change it to that yeah so after that the file that you need to modify is the .env file so this file contains the upload location so for me in my case it's the library where my folder is, where all my photos are going to be stored so it has all the details of the image version just leave it at release if you're going to keep updating it and it also contains the database password which needs to be changed but for some reason it never comes up on the image server where you have to enter that password so you might as well leave it like that so once all these are done you will need snap snapd to be installed to install the image server to the uh, system you're trying to install it so let's get that done and once that is done you can go ahead and do docker compose up hyphen d so once that is done, your Docker files are being pulled. So if you've never done this before, it's pulling all the files from the server and it's downloading them so that it's all set up. So once it's all done, 
it just goes and it creates all the containers that's needed so once all your containers are ready you're good to go so what you're gonna do now is wait for it to be completed once it's all done you go host name to check what is your IP address of the system yeah so in my case it's 192.168.1.4 so that would be my host uh, IP address so you can access image server once it's once the containers are created by going ahead and typing HTTP 192.168.1.4 and you go ahead and type those port number as you see on the video that's 2283 so in your case if you changed it on the docker compose yml you go ahead and do that now first for starters you need to set up an admin email password and the name so don't forget this uh, email and password that you set up because it's going to be the one that is going to be setting up additional users the storage quota that you're going to get for the other users and all those things yeah so go ahead select what you want so go ahead and this storage template thing is an experimental feature in my case I had issues with them so do, do not turn it on I would suggest so once that is done you can see yeah so the place where you install image server is going to be the amount of storage that's available for you and like I said everything is set up for you and then you get to use all the features that you require so you can go ahead and explore all these options in your own time so if you love it please don't forget to like and subscribe and now see you see here even if you go into your account settings you get a lot of more functionality than Google Photos actually you can even use API keys to move your Google Photos uh, into image I'll make a different video for that so that you know how to exactly do it it's just going to be a script that's going to be running and you can import all at once once you back up all your data from Google Photos so now you see you can even create a new user so in our case let's do it as test at gmail.com and let's give a password for the same let me just get it typed in so once the password is done go ahead give a name and the quota size for the user so this size is the size that the user is going to specifically have so all this is controlled by the admin email that you created in the beginning once you opened your image server yeah so once that is done go ahead log out just to see if it works so now there's your test email that you made you enter those details and you're prompted to set up a new password you can go ahead and do that or set up your password that was given by the admin so now change password and you can go ahead and log in so in this case you see the 5 GB what we've given is what the test user has received so I hope you love the video Please do like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.